When the pandemic accelerated the push to digitization overall, the World Economic Forum estimates that in the next decade, 70% of new value in the global economy will come from digitally enabled businesses. At the same time, more than three and a half billion people still lack internet access. Even in, in many advanced industrial democracies, we have, you know, we're grappling with issues of lack of digital access, uh, lack of uh, access to banking. This is very much a global challenge. I really carry cash anymore. Although there are exceptions when you're traveling to some remote part of the country where they do not have the infrastructure or the resources or even a mobile phone to you know, use these services or use these platforms that have been given. Immigrants, refugees that, I mean, lack the access to, to formal banking, um, the cost for them to create wealth, the cost for them to operate in cash is huge, you no? Know? And, and that creates a, a vicious cycle uh, that is very difficult to get, get out from. About 1.4 billion people are on bank, uh, roughly 1 billion of whom are women. 1 billion women, about an eighth of the world's population. And when you have one eighth of the world's population who are largely decoupled or cut off from the global economy, uh, the geopolitical ramifications are potentially huge. We did a study where we showed that people who were sending remittances were saving 15 days of their life. That's how much time they're spending standing in line uh, waiting, let alone the security issues of handling cash. It is a huge issue. In Lebanon, 54%, more than half of the economy is actually remittances. So in these economies, remittances are a true financial lifeline to people and it is even more so for very poor people. Gracias a Dios porque pues gracias a que mi esposo estuvo aquí en Estados Unidos y que él pudo trabajar y que él nos mandaba dinero. Con el dinero que él nos mandaba pues iba yo juntando, eh, pude construir mi casa, eh, cumplir, pues a lo mejor no todo como el sueño que, que mis hijos anhelaban o que mi esposo anhelaba para ellos. Digital payments and digital banking is a really the launching pad for people and companies around the world for the into the digital economy and furthermore into the global economies. And through that, they are able to start to export and reach markets um, and customers that they didn't have uh, before. So no matter what country you live in, how many people you've got walking by your store, there's no comparison to what a small business is able to access now with the digital environment, with digital payment tools. We do believe that digital adoption will redefine poverty lines, will really support a more inclusive, I mean, uh, uh, communities, and will create a, an important economic impact uh, in the GDPs of uh, every nation. We, we are absolutely convinced about that. We see this cascading effects from digital payments and digital access that come um, afterward, uh, whether it, it has to do with access to markets, access to um, new customers, your growth of your profit margins, your exports, and then access to finance. That, of course, is a, is a kind of positive virtual cycle.